John Jones and Tom Aspinall have just had a face-off and now I am completely 100% certain that this fight will never happen. And today we're going to talk about it. Now the weekend just gone was the Arnold Festival. For any of the OGs on my channel, it's the Old Body Power Expo. It takes place in the Birmingham NEC Centre. I was going to go myself but we didn't end up booking it in time. But there was a lot of big names there, not just from the fitness industry but from the fighting game. John Jones had a booth and Tom Aspinall took it upon himself to go and say hello to John Jones and try and set up this fight once and for all and i'm seeing a lot of narratives go around the internet people are doing videos there's comments all over instagram and youtube people saying john jones looks old he looks fat he's scared tom aspinall's scared and all of the body language experts are coming out of the woodwork tom aspinall is touching john jones on the shoulder it must mean that he's trying to belittle him he's trying to big brother him he's trying to show him who's boss who the real alpha is yeah all that nonsense so tom aspinall posted the full version of this interaction on his youtube channel so let's take a look at this interaction and see how it went down. Who's the real alpha? Going right now. Just finished the being and greet. We're gonna go and see if we can see John Jones to say hello quick. See what, see what he says. So straight away, Tom Aspinall is going in here with no ill will. You know that he's not trying to make a scene. Tom Aspinall genuinely respects John Jones, and in true British fashion, there he just said. Going to go and see John Jones. Go and say hello. Not trying to start any beef. It's just Tom Aspinall has won the title. He really wants to fight John Jones. It doesn't really make much sense for John Jones to fight Stipe Miocic. So this is Tom's opportunity right here to go and just see what vibe John Jones has given off and potentially maybe plant the seeds for an upcoming fight. <laughs> Imagine being one of these professional MMA fighters or someone of Tom Aspinall's status or even John Jones' status and you walk around somewhere and everyone looks at you like this. It must be pretty hard to ignore. I mean, even me, a guy of my status, I get recognised maybe once every three months, but that's the price we pay. I'm joking for any of the easily triggered snowflakes out there. So we got people starstruck by Tom Aspinall. He's on like a stage, isn't he? I love the way Tom Aspinall says that. He goes, he's like on a stage, him. Such a British thing to say. And that's what people need to realise about Tom Aspinall, maybe some of the casuals, is that Tom is an incredibly humble guy. If you've seen any of the video footage of Tom training with Eddie Hall, he's a little bit of an introvert, or at least he comes across that way. He's not like Darren Till or Paddy Pimblett, where they're very outspoken, very loud and in your face. Trust those scousers to be the main loud ones. Or Michael Bisbing, for example. No, Tom is very humble and quiet. And I'm not sure if the casual fans know that or the john jones fans tom wants to go and see john jones but he doesn't want to see him in a confrontational manner and these little snippets of the way he talks gives you insight into his mindset he's a humble guy he can't believe that john jones is on like a stage so i guarantee tom aspinall will be somewhat starstruck when he meets john here <laughs> It's also funny the way everyone is clamoring towards the front of the stage because they can see Tom Aspinall coming and they know that this right here is about to be a moment. And this is the moment right here. Who is going to be the true alpha in this situation? If we take a look at Tom Aspinall's neck position and his upper back being a little bit rounded, this means that he has succumbed to John Jones's energy already and the interaction hasn't even started yet. His left shoulder is positioned and retracted back, which subliminally tells us that Tom Aspinall is already thinking about throwing the left hand if they do have a fight. Oh, shut up with all that nonsense. Let's watch how this goes down. Wait, do we Just saying hello, just saying hello. What's going on? Now, I really like the way Tom said that. He said, I'm just saying hello. I'm just saying hello in a completely non-confrontational manner because Aspinall respects John Jones. And John Jones is probably thinking here, oh, what's going to happen now? Tom Aspinall is going to come up here. He's going to try and get a fight with me. He's going to try and turn it into a moment, maybe get up in my face. So Tom done the right thing here just by approaching it in a polite manner. Just saying hello. Just saying hello. What's going on, man? How are you? What's going on, man? How are you? Completely cordial. Now, this is where it takes a turn for the worst. This moment is what everyone is talking about. Hello, good man. Wasn't having me check his reach. 
part. I'm gonna do this thing. I don't believe that Aspinall was actually trying to check John Jones's reach there. And I've seen a lot of people say that. Tom Aspinall was checking John Jones's reach. You really think that's the case when you're this close to each other? I mean, they're about a foot away from each other. And as you can see, he puts his hand on him there. Tom Aspinall's arm is bent quite significantly. In fact, we can take a look here. This is a better angle. Oh, yeah. Tom Aspinall is definitely checking John Jones's reach there. And this caption also says Tom Aspinall showing he has the height advantage over John Jones. Yeah, maybe only by like an inch or an inch and a half. This picture is slightly exaggerated because Tom is positioned a little bit closer to the camera. I actually believe the reason why Tom put his hand on John Jones' shoulder, which I haven't really seen anyone say yet, is more so as a sign of respect. When you see a friend who you haven't seen in a while, you put your hand on them. It's just like a way of showing love. Now, doing it on someone's shoulder with the palm down can be seen as a little bit disrespectful because it's almost like you're patting them. There you go. Good boy. You're smaller than me. But I don't think Tom meant it like that because he's just not that type of person. If we want to talk about body language 101 for all the body language experts out there, I think a better thing that Tom could have done is maybe patted John on the side of the arm because you're not patting down then. Patting someone on the arm is a little bit more of a sign of brotherly love than tapping someone on the shoulder, especially when you are potential future rivals. So I think John Jones shutting this moment down. There's nothing wrong with it john is very smart he's been in the fight game for over 20 years so john won't accept these silly little games now as i say i don't think tom meant this in a disrespectful way but John Jones doesn't know that. He's never met Tom Aspinall, so he doesn't understand what Tom's personality is like. So it's only normal that John would shut this down. And you get a little bit of a glimpse into Tom Aspinall's personality because despite the fact that John Jones shuts this moment down, Tom never stops being nice and respectful. Now, this part right here is what's worrying about this entire interaction. Check it out. I do this thing. I would hope so. I would love to, man. I would hope so. Respect, man. All the best. Respect. All the Tom Aspinall says, I would love to do this thing. And John Jones says, I would hope so. And John Jones just says, all the best, all the best. Almost shutting down any possibility of this fight ever happening. He's dismissive. He's given very short answers. All the best, all the best. I hope so. All the best, all the best. He's being very indirect, which shows he's got a lot of wisdom in there. He knows the business. He knows the game. John Jones isn't standing there trying to explain himself and be like, oh, well, yeah, maybe in the future we can do the fight. But the thing is, I've, I've got me perk and then I, I need to fight Stipe. He's just saying, I hope so. All the best. So that way his words can't be used against him in the future. He's not verbally committing to anything that he might have to go back on in the future. Now, this is where Tom asks John Jones for a face-off. Thanks. All the best. Do a quick picture. Sure. Yeah? Let's get it. A face-off. No, no, just no, no, no. no, no, okay. No, 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 no problem. No, no problem. No problem. <laughs> Now, I love that interaction again because you can see John Jones's face there. He's, he's got that look as if to say, what are you on about? I thought you was coming up to just say hello and keeping this nice and cordial. And now you're asking for a face-off, which is a little bit more confrontational. And face-offs can always escalate due to the intensity of them. You're staring deep into someone's eyes. So John just shuts down any potential of that happening. And also, John knows if they have a face-off, that's going to drum up so much marketing for the potential fight between these two that by the looks of it, he doesn't want to have anyway. Nothing in this interaction screams John Jones being in a rush to fight Tom Aspinall and getting a face off and having hundreds of people take pictures of you right there and then and then for it to be talked about all over the internet is not what John Jones wants John Jones wants to heal up from his injury fight Stipe Miocic and then retire and John's being very smart here he's avoiding saying anything or doing anything that's going to force him into a fight potentially down the road and even Tom being the class act that he is says okay no problem no problem <laughs> look at John Jones's face here this is just a normal human interaction that got a little bit awkward here and there. And that's it. There's not much more else to say. No problem. No problem. No problem. That's great. Thank you, guys. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. I would love to have the honor one day. I would love to have the honor. Maybe one day. Hope so, man. All the best. All the best. How's everything? It's healing. So it's slowly but surely. Okay. All the best, man. Thanks. Thank you, man. Thanks. So let me come up. Thank you. Thank you. Tom Aspinall's cool. But once again, as you can see there, John Jones, this fight is not going to happen. He says, maybe one day, but even when you listen to the tonality that he says it in, you can just tell he's being extremely non-committal. He doesn't want to have to fight with Tom Aspinall. One day, I would love to have the honor. Maybe Thank one you. day. Hope so, man. Oh. Yeah, one day, maybe one day. And John Jones gives him the tap on the shoulder as if to say, right, go on, get off me stage now. <laughs> all the best, all the best. How's everything? It's healing. So it's slowly but surely. Okay. All the best, man. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, man. And you see, even there, Tom says, how's everything with regards to John Jones's injury? John Jones says, it's healing, slowly but surely, and then doesn't say anything after that. John Jones could have easily have kept the conversation 
going? Could have said to Tom, how's your training going or how things been since you became champion? But no, John Jones wants this interaction to be as short as possible. Not because he dislikes Tom. He just understands that he doesn't want any false Martin being drummed up for a potential fight between them both. Now, one final point. I've seen people online talking about how John Jones looks old. He looks fat. He looks out of shape. He's showing his age. John's only 36 years old. But let's also remember, he's bulked up to heavyweight and he's not really like a natural heavyweight. He's got the frame and the length, but in terms of muscle mass, he's just not really a natural heavyweight. We see him that he had a little bit of a belly when he was fighting a heavyweight. He hasn't got a frame like Cyril Garn or Francis Ngannou. So he's got a little bit of extra pudding on him. And when you're fatter, you look older. When you're leaner, you look younger. Also, John Jones has tore his pec. You understand what kind of injury that is. It's a pretty bad injury. You have to get the pec attached via the tendon on the humerus, which is this bone here. So they've got to go through your shoulder and attach the pec back on your friggin' arm. Oh, John Jones looks fat. John Jones looks old. He's showing his age. Yeah, of course he is. He's 36. He's got a little bit of pudding on him and he hasn't been able to train for the last few months, which also means he's lost a little bit of muscle. Now, final point as well. Some of the comments are a little bit delusional here. Anyone else thinks John Jones looks proper nervous here? No, not at all. John Jones looked completely cool. He looked fine. Bit awkward, maybe, but that doesn't mean nervous. You think these fighters are nervous. You think John Jones, who has beat everyone who he's ever fought, minus one technicality, is going to be scared of a new prospect on the horizon? John Jones isn't scared. Tom Aspinall is not scared, and I'm glad someone actually addressed that. These comments are hysterical. John Jones has faced the most talented fighters to walk into the octagon and made it look easy. Easily as the best resume in the UFC ever. Tom has fought two relevant heavyweights and he's one in one in those. The loss against Curtis Blades wasn't really a loss. He freaking snapped his ACL. Tom's a great fighter and he'll be the champ for a long time. But to say that John Jones is scared is absurd. I don't know if you saw what John Jones did to Cyril Garn in his debut a heavyweight but that man ain't afraid of nobody for the record i'm a fan of both but fanboys please stop yes fanboys of tom aspinall and fanboys of john jones you need to calm down a little bit jones is on that waiting for steep a diet plan once again don't you understand that he's injured tom aspinall fanboys will say that jones is milking it john jones look old as hell to be fair probably should retire he's 36 He's got a few greys in his beard and his face is a little bit puffy because he's not being able to train properly. Damn, seeing John Jones with greys in his beard is kind of sad. Not really. How old are these people commenting? Like 15. Oh, you got a cat for your picture. That explains it all. Jones aging like milk. I honestly don't think so. Most people just don't think logically. He's ducking you. John Jones isn't ducking anyone. I just think that he wants his final fight with Stipe and he wants out. But I do think John Jones might be thinking, well... I've got a little bit of a messed up peck now. Is it a good idea to come back and fight one of these young, hungry lions in Tom Aspinall? Will I be 100%? It's a long time to be out for when you're 36. You come back after an injury like that that you've done in wrestling, and then you're going to be fighting a wrestler in Tom Aspinall. You're going to have that worry and anxiety that you might injure yourself again. So in his mind, he might just be thinking, you know what, I'll come back, fight Stipe. Stipe's a legend, one of the best heavyweights to ever do it. Get me money, ride off into the sunset. So what do you guys think of this interaction then? Do you think Tom Aspinall was trying to big brother John Jones by putting his hand on him like this? Is John Jones looking old? Who would win if these two ever fought? Will they ever fight? After watching this interaction, I almost feel like I've got closure now that this fight will never happen. John Jones doesn't want to do it. He didn't even entertain it a tiny bit. And fair enough, he can do what he wants. He's the GOAT at the end of the day. If you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe for daily uploads. Like this video and leave your thoughts below. Appreciate you all. See you tomorrow.